here's Rose's cage tucked in the middle of everything that we've got packed in the back of our minivan. And you can't even see her because I've got her nest inside her box, inside this cage, just like, almost like it's at home. And everything had to be snuggled in around her. And she just, so far, has been sitting there on her eggs just as she would do at home. Just kind of hanging out. Oh, you can't even see her, can you? That's her tail anyway. But um, I think she does good in the car. She's just quiet and happy. We didn't want to leave her home, of course, and we also didn't want to put her in the birdie hotel. And so I was able to take her in this smaller size cage. It's actually designed for a guinea pig or some smaller animal. And it actually works perfectly for a travel size cage for her. You can see she's in here right now, hanging out on her eggs. It's not quite as easy to get in and say hi to her or um, manage her stuff but because the door is a little smaller. But there she is, happy as always. And of course I brought her nest. It stayed the same and she just sat like this the whole time in our 14-hour car trip. And then um, she was able to get out and take a break every time we stopped as well. Um, and everything went well, and I think she's happy as long as she has her eggs, because that really keeps her feeling normal. Um, I did have to make this different box set up, because my original box doesn't fit in this more narrow cage size. And so I just uh, took another box and fashioned it to kind of fit in and over, and I'm not even sure if she really needs a box, but I wanted to keep things as close to her original cage as possible, so she feels right at home. And, of course, every time she hears my voice, she knows that she's basically at home wherever I am and wherever her eggs are. And she's about due for a break, so um, I'm going to get her set out here for a break, and uh, we'll continue there. I even have her same food and water bowls, and, of course, her same seed. And luckily, this cage is really nice because uh, my friends that I'm staying with probably appreciate it. it has this side lip here which keeps any flying seeds out of the way of their floor and keeps them into their ca her cage. This door is a little awkward so I really don't have her climb up and down it um, and because it's not my house I don't want her just flying around pooping everywhere like she does in my own house. I'm trying to be polite to my friends and and so when I get her out of the cage for a break or to stretch her wings, I either carry her into the bathroom where she can be a little more free, although it's a small room and I stay in there with her. And when um, I think she's had enough of that room, then I put her diaper on and I bring her out here to the living room and she mostly just hangs out on top of her cage like it's her perch. And then she does the rest of her pooping in her diaper. She says, where's my eggs? I know that box always falls down when I take the nest out, but I don't know. She doesn't seem that bothered by it. Here we are in the bathroom, and I'm politely trying to let her have some freedom in a place without any rugs or pianos or things that can get ruined with poop. Sometimes I've even been lucky enough to catch her poop on a tissue, and so it doesn't even touch anything. Otherwise, obviously, I just clean it up as usual with some soap, and then she's good to go. Alright, I just caught another poop, believe it or not, and I didn't get it on film because I'm not that awesome to do everything with only two hands. But anyway, uh, now that I've seen that she's gotten a decent amount of poop out, I am going to get her diaper, her pigeon pants on, which I just end up calling a diaper because I've had kids and those are all diapers to me. And um, then I'm going to let her out in the living room again so she doesn't have to be on this slippery, sterile surface. And she can kind of be out where the rest of the people are and hang out for a little while. And then I'll know when she's done because she'll end up going right back into her cage by herself. What's on you? And, um, hi sweetie. And she'll say, hey, where'd my eggs go? Standing in her broken box section. And then... <laughs> I'll get her eggs and she'll go back on just like at home. So she's pretty happy on vacation. Luckily, I think they're pretty easy birds to travel with as long as they have all the comforts of their home. I think you all can make it work.
Hi, Rose. I'm going to hang out there for a little bit. So she's got her pigeon pants on. And she can just hang out on there. She'll fly around if she wants. But mostly this is a really central location for her. And that's another thing I did is I purposely positioned her cage here in the middle of the living room with her nest facing out just like at our house so that she can see what's going on and be part of our flock. Another thing you want to keep in mind when you're traveling with your pet pigeon is to know if there's going to be any other pets that um, are going to be in the house of the place you're going to. In this house we're staying at, there's no other pets, and so I don't have to worry about her getting attacked or being endangered by someone um, having a pet there. So, of course, dogs and cats are the most common ones, but you also want to be careful of other people's birds or maybe rabbits that they let run around or just be conscious of any pet that might be in the house that you're staying in and you have to make sure that you protect your bird and think of all those things that you might not have to think of if you're home with your bird and you have no other pets.